Hi Facebook, it's Renita. I am seven days post-op now from bilateral mastectomy that I had last Tuesday for diagnosis of ductal carcinoma in set two breast cancer. I have my little helper Jojo here. Do you want to say hi Jojo? Hi. <laughs> He's been a good helper. Um, as I said, I'm seven days post-op, and the last time I told you guys all the things that I couldn't do, like open, shut the door, open medicine bottles, open a water bottle, carry my God forsaken 15 back, 15 pound purse. Well, I still can't do any of those things, um, and it's a bit frustrating. I tell you something funny. It's funny seeing everybody else carry my purse. Especially the guys. But hey, it's for a good cause, right? So if you see me, and just pack my bag. It's stylish. It's a Louie. You'll be all right. <laughs> no, but I, I get very frustrated with not being able to do things like that yet. Um, I uh, attempted to dress myself today, and it took me about an hour. Uh and I got frustrated really upset and sad so those are things that I need prayers for just for my patience and just you know my optimism and just to know that recovery will be slow and not quick like I'm used to um, are you guys laughing at my hat isn't it funny I love Marvin the Martian he's so awesome ring ring does he say mink mink no. He has those fast legs that I like. Those little fast legs. He moves all fast. Because I'm fast paced. He has what? A little dog. Oh, Joe says he has a little dog. Anyways, the hat's fun. Okay, so today I had my uh, follow up appointment with my plastic surgeon. And I see a plastic surgeon because, well, since I had a mastectomy, of course I want. To have nice boobs later. Um, I had expanders placed on my day of surgery, one on each side. And what will happen is every visit I go and get them filled with a little bit more saline until I reach my desired um, size of implant. Okay, so today I went in and I did not get to get my J tubes removed. Bummer because they're the most horrific, uncomfortable thing that I have attached to me. So it's two drains hanging for me. It's like little monkeys or something hanging. And I did not get any fluid put in. It was disappointing, but it was my first follow-up and pretty much he just looked to see how I was healing, how my swelling was. No, I didn't look either. Just wasn't ready. Um. But the positive thing that came out today was that I did get my bandages removed and I can get a better bra. Like it's not going to be a cute bra because I'm not ready for that yet, but I can get a more comfortable one. And I got to go to this most awesome place today that we have in Lexington. Awesome. It's called Josephine's Post Mastectomy Shop. Um, and pretty much that's all they service is women who have had to fight or battle with cancer and go through surgery hence the term post mastectomy shop yeah um, so they have comfort um, undergarments scarves head wraps everything they give you great attention you're pampered while you're there it's it's a great place for women who have had to go through anything like this and a lot of people don't know that your insurance covers pretty much everything because it's expensive stuff in there. They have the breast prosthesis for women who aren't going to do constructive surgery and maybe are just going to put in the prosthetics. They have that. Um, they You get one-on-one -on -one kind of sales person and they measure you and give you all this information. And my insurance paid for everything. <laughs> Was stoked about that. Um, but no, they're great. Definitely would be a great place to donate to um, really great because it, it just feels good to have a place especially for you that kind of knows what you're going through 
And they did. They knew everything that I was going through and everything about my tubes and how I felt about my tubes and this and this and that. And they were awesome. Um, so I had my first experience there. That was great. I came home with some new goodies that are a lot more comfortable than that big granny thing they had me on. Um, today I was able to get out and just kind of shop around with my good friend Maria. Uh, I got tired. I get tired a lot more easier, of course, and I get sore. Um, even though everybody's packing everything for me. Today she got to pack the purse. And she wasn't really mad about it like the guys. She was excited about carrying my purse. So the guys need to take a heed and be more excited about packing my purse. Because she didn't have a problem with it. I don't see why you guys do. Anywho, um, my pain has been pretty consistent. Um, I wake up in the middle of the night a lot in pain. I have these anxiety attacks that freak everybody out. You just get a feeling that you can't breathe. And that's still just inflammation there, which is related to the slow healing that I've been praying about. Just giving me patience and the ability to cope with the slow healing, which I can do. Um, I have changed my attire temporarily to these button down extra big shirts and what they do is I find that they hide my my um, JPEGs well nothing sticks out so nobody gawks at me like I'm stealing something or what's poking out of my shirt I kind of fit in and I don't receive any stares um, other than that I'm good I'm staying hydrated, I'm eating well, I'm moving as much as I can, I'm watching as many horror movies as I can, um, becoming a professional at Snapped, yeah, that could be scary, hmm, and I've been having the biggest question like, I wonder if I could be the spokesperson person for this, all of my medical, hmm, <laughs> Colleagues know what this magnesium citrate is, and I'm wondering if I could be a spokesperson for it because it's awesome. Anyways, um, I'm feeling okay. I'm gonna put on my cool pajamas. I got cool pajamas today, and I'm just gonna hang out and watch TV. Um, thank you guys for your support. Get your mammograms. Do yourself breast exams, research your genetic history, and know your status. Because I am Renita Washington, I am young, I am active, I am muscular, and I have breast cancer. So it can happen to anyone. Um, you guys have a good night, and I will try. And please, please don't hate on the hat. Bye.